Hey there, Lysandra Everett here, the Millionaire Mill Spouse, and I am shooting this video from my home office, and this video is a part of, I guess you can call it my diary, of my SIDS experience. Um, I'm shooting these uh, these videos to, uh, to share my experience, to share what I went through, and hopefully this will reach someone and help someone, um, you know, get through their experience and to understand what's going on. So, um... Just sharing my story. Uh, this this all happened between uh, 1991 and 92. Um, so my daughter, her name was Lomas Talitha. She was named after both of her grandparents. She was born December 10th, 1991. I get my water bottle. And she was beautiful and she was quick. Um, I got to the hospital at about 7.20 and about 7.37, she was out. Um, it was a, so needless to say, it was a very, very quick birth. Um, but anyway, uh, but she was beautiful. She was the light of my life and I loved her. I loved her hard. Um, and, but uh, the, the day that she died, yeah, you know, it's just so vivid in my mind. Um, I was actually working at a, I was working at a bank. Uh, I was working at First Union Bank, and which is now Wachovia, went to First Union Wachovia, Wells Fargo, ha, huh, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so this particular day, things were just so different. She was normally very verbal in the morning, whether she was screaming, whether she was crying, whether she was laughing, cooing, whatever. She was always making all kinds of noise. But this kind, but this particular morning, uh, she was very quiet. And, um, you know, we were taking her to the sitter. I, you know, I was, I was dating someone at the time. We were not married. And this all happened before my husband. You'll see, you'll hear me talk about my husband and my other children. So this has all happened, you know, many years before my husband. Um, but anyway, um, that particular morning, things were, like I said, things were just different. Normally on the way to the sitter, she would go to sleep. And this particular morning, she was awake. And I just remember thinking to myself, wow, um, she sure is looking around a lot, you know. And um, although I would never recommend anyone doing this, but this particular morning I didn't put her in her car seat. I held her. And I know that's a very dangerous thing to do. And I don't, to this day, I really don't know why I did that. But I held her that morning and she was just looking around and, and taking in all the scenery. And actually that night before, I bring me back up to that night before, um, the night before she died was March 10th, 1992, and she had just turned three months. And that was also my mother's birthday. And so normally, I don't know what it was about my mom, but she would scream to high heaven whenever she would go to my mom. But uh, this particular evening, she sat there with my mother in the recliner and she was just holding her head up and just looking at my mom. And she would just look until her little neck got tired and she would put her head down and rest and then she would just look some more. Um, but anyway, so she died March 11th, um, 1992. And like I said, that day, it was just a little different. But anyway, uh, I was I was going to work, and that particular day, like I said, I worked at a bank. I was a I was what was called a floating teller. I worked at different branches, and this particular day, I was working at the branch that was nearest my mom's office. My mom worked on Fort Gordon, Georgia. She was in the, in the army, and um, and so after work, I went to her office and you know just hung out for a minute, um, and then you know my boyfriend came in, you know picked me up, and then we went to go pick her up from the sitter and I was sitting in the car and I was waiting for him to come back and it was pretty cold that day and and I remember him coming out of the door and running to the car and I was thinking you know it's kind of chilly he was trying to hurry and get her in the car and he opened the door and he put what felt like a brick in my arms and it, 
and it because this hasn't hadn't quite registered to me it was cold and i opened up the blanket to see my little baby girl and she was gone she was already she was already gone when we got her she had just um she had just passed away in her sleep and uh, we rushed her to the hospital you know tried to give her cpr but she was already gone she um like i said she was she was cold i could feel her through the blankets and um but i i already knew she was gone but we took her to the hospital and you know the doctors try they try they, they tried everything but there was no saving her she was already gone and um i remember i had to call my mom and i called her because she was you know at work still and i i called her to tell her what happened and it was so it was just such a i think at that moment that's when the fog the fog came because not any very much after that is crystal clear to me but that was the you know the last 24 hours of her life that um that I remember so vividly I mean I even remember what I was wearing that day but um but that's just the story of how uh you know how it happened um and uh I'll I'll end this here cuz this was tough enough and so I'll you know share more on the next video Thanks, bye.